Good morning. Hi, I'm Rod Brown. How are you? Hope all is well. This Lead or Lose series is for entrepreneurs, and we've been talking about the most important person that you have to be able to lead, and that is yourself. And we're starting with uh, our thoughts and, and how our thoughts either will help us or hinder us. And we've been talking about, you know, um, the, the, the effect of our thoughts, um, both positive and negative. We've been talking about how to, you know, re- replace your replace your thoughts with with uh, positive thoughts. Uh, we've been talking about the characteristics of a of an entrepreneur uh, versus a leader, and uh, we want to carry that a little bit further today and talk about, you know, where where are those thoughts coming from? What's the origin of those thoughts? Because if we know the origin of the thoughts, uh, we may be able to. Um, eliminate those thoughts or or prevent those thoughts from coming um, into our heads uh, versus having to deal with those thoughts. So we're going to talk about the origin of those thoughts and where, where they come from. And I kind of boiled it down to uh, really two places that I believe these thoughts typically will, will, will come from that hinder us. And um, those two places are, number one, people, and number two, experiences. Um, people will plant um, positive thoughts or they will plant negative thoughts in our head and bad experiences will, um, will, will, will we will file away um, the um, bad experiences that we've had and the outcomes of those bad experiences and then for some reason we tend to just kind of flip through the file cabinet or the folders in our brain and we will remember those bad experiences that happened, you know, eons ago and that has absolutely nothing to do with today or what we're trying to accomplish today, but those bad experiences could impact or oftentimes will impact what's going on today. And I love talking to entrepreneurs. Um, entrepreneurs, you guys are great at networking. Um, you are confident. Uh, you are innovative. You're self-motivated, very determined most of the time analytical, you can slice and dice a, a thought or a concept or a product or a service or, or a business deal, uh, make decisions, um, you, you, you take risk, and most oftentimes you're results focused. You have vision, and, and, and as good as all of those things are, they can be derailed with the way you think or the thoughts that you allow people to plant into your head or experiences to be recalled at some point in time. So we have to make sure that we block out those things, if at all possible. And and one of the ways to do that, again, is is to replace those negative thoughts or those negative instances with positive instances And, and not do it when it happens, but be proactive. And so instead of being reactive, so I want to want to start off with giving you um, what we call belief statements. And these belief statements comes from a book called Aspire by a guy named Kevin Hall. And these are things. It's four little statements that you can make that you can say to yourself every single morning uh, before you get your day started, or right before you go into a meeting, or right before you go into a business deal, or right before uh, you have to present yourself in front of a group of people or your staff, your, you know, your employees, or even in a hiring situation. And those statements are simple, very, very simple. And the first one is, I am worthy. That means you have worth. That means you have value. That, that means you believe that, um, you know, y- you are um, not here by happenstance and that you are a valuable individual to the vision, to your organization, to the world. Period. You are worthy. So say to yourself, I am worthy. The next one is, I am capable. Thoughts will creep into your mind about um, your ability oftentimes. Um, negative thoughts are planted by people who who will say, what makes you think that people are going to listen to you? Or what makes you think you are the person that's capable of pulling this off? Know that you are capable. You have to believe that you are capable. I am deserving. You deserve the success that you work really hard for. You you deserve to be in the game. You deserve to own a piece of real estate in the space that you operate in as an entrepreneur. You You are very deserving of what you get 
of what you do and, and the people that you help. I am deserving. And then the last one is I trust myself. Uh, I think this is probably the most um, important of the four belief statements. I trust myself because if I can trust me, then I can trust other people because we attract what who we are. If I can trust me, I can trust other people. And if I can, if if I trust myself and I can trust other people, I can trust other situations. And I won't look at every situation with a negative connotation that will also slow me down or interfere possibly with me making a decision. So be that good networker, you know, be self-confident, be innovative, uh, be motivated, be determined, analytical, um, you know, be a risk taker, be results focused. And don't let your thoughts interfere. Don't let people, don't let bad experiences interfere with all of those positive things that you are as an entrepreneur. And say to yourself, I'm worthy. I am capable. I am deserving. And I trust myself. So we know that thoughts come from bad thoughts, um, or we know that, that bad thoughts can be planted what, by people, and we know that they can be planted also by um, bad, bad experiences that we had in the past. Um, I don't know if you remember the movie Inception. And, and when I was preparing for this, I thought about that movie, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. You know, he, he had to plant an idea in the mind of a CEO of a company. And the way he did that is they, he and his team, they went about doing that. Um, they planted this idea or this, this, this thought into the CEO's head um, through his dreams. And people do that all the time. Um, and, and, and they planted a thought that would, would yield a, a positive result, but people plant thoughts all the time in our brains that yield negative results simply because they're not confident in who they are. They're not doing the things that you're doing. So you have to guard your thoughts by, um, you know, with, with positive affirmations. Those belief statements are, are a great, great way to start. Uh, and then also make sure that you avoid bad experiences as much as possible and make sure you avoid the people that are going to plant negative seeds in your brain. Some people do it purposely, but then also also some people uh, also, uh, say, for example, the media will plant things in our brain. That's because we sit and watch TV or we sit and watch, um, uh, you know, the news, which oftentimes is, um, you know, created so that ratings could happen. And those things aren't positive. Those things aren't feeding our vision. So we have to protect our thoughts. Let's talk about people for a second. I believe there there's different categories of people that, as an entrepreneur, will be in your life. Um, I think you have to um, have someone that is um, lifting you up, someone that is is your mentor per se, that you're reaching up to, that that you aspire to be like. And typically, that person will 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 be very honest with you, and that's not someone that's going to plant negative thoughts into your into your psyche. That's someone who's going to help you and, and, and oftentimes will come with positivity and will come with realness and will tell you the things that you need to hear. And it, it will be someone that has gone down the path that you've gone down or that you're going down. So you, you want to have someone that can lift you up. You want to have someone that you're reaching down and you're lifting up. You want to have someone that you're mentoring. Because you, you will rehearse the positivity that you're getting from your mentor, or you will rehearse the positivity that you're learning about, right, and that you're passing down to someone. So you're in a constant state of positivity. You're in a constant state of, of um, a good environment as it relates to your thoughts when you're talking or when you're mentoring someone or multiple people. So you want to be reaching down at some point, pulling someone up to where you are. In your level, you want to have somebody that you're kind of walking beside. So they're not mentoring you, you're not mentoring them, but they, you, you, you're walking along together. You're, you're kind of going down a path together. You're both, you know, from a from a business standpoint, a business acumen standpoint, you're kind of on the same level. And this is more of a peer. And oftentimes, you you, you just talk about uh, your, your sounding boards for each other. You know, again, you're not trying to lift them up. They're not trying to lift you up or, or anything like that. This, you just need a peer sometimes and, um, to just to have someone to, to listen to, to be that sounding board for you, okay? Other people as an entrepreneur that you're going to have in your life, you're going to have employees in your life. And, and, and this is, if you're an entrepreneur um, and, and you actually have a business, right, and, and I'm not talking about actually owning a job where you're a, um, you know, a sole proprietor, where, 
Um, you do have a business, you have a business structure, but you are the business. At some point in time, you will have employees. And when you have those employees, um, they're going to become an important part of your life because oftentimes as entrepreneurs, we will see our employees oftentimes more than we see our families. So these, this, this group of people that um, help you bring your vision to pass are very important in your life because you're going to spend a lot of time with them. Okay, um, so you want to I want to give you some tips on on the type of people that you want to bring around you as it relates to your employees. Um, I think there are three things that you want to look for in, when you when you're recruiting your employees. The first one is character. You want to make sure they have uh, a good character. Um, of course, um, um, you, it, it's hard to determine whether or not they have a good character or not in uh, in, in a one hour or two hour interview um, or a couple interviews, uh, but you'll know. Uh, very, very quickly where they stand relative to their character after they've been working for you for a while. Sometimes or many times we have people that come into our organizations and they work for us and we know the character is shady. But let's say they're really smart and they're really good, but their character is shady. That will become a cancer in your organization, right? And it will also uh, affect you. And then people will also um, uh, challenge your leadership because they know you, everybody knows that this person is a cancer, but you, you haven't gotten rid of them. So you have to check their character first and foremost. You have to check their competency. Um, there's nothing like promoting someone in your organization or having someone in your organization that's not competent, and everybody and their brother knows that they're not competent. And also that lack of competence could impact your business. It could impact um, your growth. It could impact your, your company overall. So competence is very important. And then the last C is chemistry. When you bring somebody in your organization, Hopefully you have a strong culture. You have chemistry within that group of employees that you have, right? You don't want someone to come in to disrupt that chemistry. You don't want someone to come in and, and, and their personality is on tilt compared to the overall personality of your organization. You want them to be able to fit inside of your person, um, not your personality, I'm sorry, but you want them to fit inside of your organization, um, which leads me to, building um, that team or building that, that inner circle that you will have. Um, your inner circle will, will be made up of, of, of your employees. Your inner circle will be made up of those categories of people that we talked about. Um, so it's, it, it is so important to uh, be very critical um, and not let anybody and everybody in that inner circle uh, because that inner circle will at some point affect how you are as a leader. Uh, we attract who we are. One of the first things you should do is if when, you, when you're looking at building that inner circle or building the people that are close to you is make a list of um, the people that you will, you know, the characteristics of the people that you would want to be around you. And then ask yourself, do I fit this list or does this list fit me? How many of the things that are on this list can I say I am? Because, again, we attract um, who we are. If you have a bunch of drama in your life from other people, you know, you are the go-to person when it comes to drama. There's a reason behind that. Somehow you've invited drama into your life, right? And, and again, nothing ever happens without a thought being present. A thought is the reason everything happens. So make sure right, that your thought life is tight, make sure that you affirm yourself, um, make sure that you are replacing negative thoughts with positive thoughts, um, make sure you don't allow people, and you know the people that will come around that have has planted negative thoughts, especially for entrepreneurs. How many times have you been told you are crazy? What makes you think you can do this? That is a ridiculous idea. We have to be able to shed those thoughts, you know, and, that, and, and when we shed those thoughts, we're in a reactive mode. I want you to be more proactive. I want you to, you know, fill your mind with so many positive thoughts that there's no room in the end for negative thoughts. There's no room in the end for destructive thoughts. I want you to focus really hard on knowing who you are, knowing that you're worthy, knowing that you're, you know, you're more than capable, and knowing that. Nothing is going to derail your vision, especially the way you think. Because, again, the most important person that we have to lead, before we can lead anyone else, 
is ourselves. And if we start with the way we think, um, that's a huge advantage. Time flies when we're having fun. Um, this call has been sponsored by ShareNote.com, which is an electronic health record system that uh, manages data and documentation and it improves communication within behavioral health care organizations. I want you to have a wonderful day. I send you blessings and goodbye.